Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at, wow, this person's a psycho, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. An old boss of mine during a lunch meeting flirted with the waitress and pressed her for her number. She was clearly uncomfortable, but my boss was a regular and tipped well, so she gave him a number. After she walked away, my boss bragged about how he's a major ladies man and could sleep with any woman he wants given the chance to spoon them. He continued that conversation in detail for about 20 minutes before finally saying, I'm stressing all of this to you because I want you to understand how easy it would be for me to take your girl if you ever cross me. He then began to tear up and with a small sob said, please don't make me wreck your life, man. That's the day I started searching for new jobs. Um, it just sounds insecure as shit. What kind of ego is that? That's actually funny as... No one laughed, but he began to tear up. Please don't make me ruin your life. All right, bluff all you want, make yourself feel good all you want, but clearly the waitress did not like you. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend bit his own arm till he was bleeding mid-argument talking about you made me do this. Um, get out before he bites you. He bit his own arm and then he was like, you made me bite myself. <laughs> Bro's been watching too many zombie movies, like, come on. Had a friend in middle school. We would text a message on MySpace throughout the night talking about how we were vampires and all the vampire stuff we were getting into. One day she came to school legitimately angry at me because I had been lying about being a vampire. I remember looking at her and being like, uh, yeah, we're like role-playing, obviously. What do you mean? And she went on a full spill about how she was not role-playing and I was a lying loser idiot who tricked her and she was a real vampire, damn it. I just remember backing away slowly and thinking this bitch is crazy. Listen, like 15 years later, I can confirm she was and is crazy as hell. <laughs> Bro, some people need to stop watching TV, man. My ex-boyfriend of four months is still stalking me eight months after the breakup. He tried to get me on a 72 hour hold. He's called my therapist's office. He came and hand delivered a letter to my house, amongst other things. I had to file a harassment complaint with the sheriff, which made him back off in some aspects, but he's still pretty active in trying to get my information, etc. online, and I don't have enough for a restraining order, so I just have to deal with it. All of this after what I thought was an amicable breakup. I'm still dealing with him, trying to Facebook friend the most fringe people in my life, such as my massage therapist, because all of my actual friends know better than to talk to him. Luckily, I've since moved and changed jobs, so he has no idea where I am. What is wrong with some people? Like, move on. Your girl doesn't want you anymore. She doesn't like you anymore. She's afraid of you. What are you doing with your life? Seriously, move on. Like, even if you do get her back by harassing her, would you feel good about that? No, move on. Jeez. If you have so much time, just freaking volunteer or something, okay? <laughs> Jeez. I went on a date with this girl some years back. The date itself was very nice. We got dinner together, talked about this and that, and spent most of the day together. I fully planned on seeing her again. She went to drop me off and I thanked her for the date, said I'd like to see her again, and started to get out of the car. Then she started to get out of the car, and I was like, okay, I guess you can meet my sister and brother-in-law, who I was staying with at the time. Well, we all have a nice chat. They say the goodbyes, and then she turns to me and asks if I want to watch a movie in my room. It's past 11 p.m. I'm tired, but I figure what's the harm in a movie? I almost fall asleep a couple times during the movie, but resist, since I don't even really know this person. Finally, credits are rolling. I'm standing up to imply that this has got to end. I ask to walk her to her car. She puts on some whiny voice asking if she can just sleep over. I put my foot down and say I feel uncomfortable with this on the first date. She finally gets the hell out of my apartment, but it's not over. She says something about sleeping in a car in front of the complex because it's too late to drive. But I say that I'd rather know she gets home safe. She drives off. I try to sleep. About 3 a.m. she calls me about some guy that's at the pump at the same time as her. And she's scared. I say, okay, I'll stay on the phone until you're on the road and safe again. Whatever. She takes off again. I fall back asleep. She calls again at 5 or so. Crying about wrecking her car, which actually turned out to be her slightly hitting the median. I even hear some trucker asking her to get the hell out of the road. I'm so fed up at this point, I've lost all interest, but I talked to her through getting back in the car and finishing the trip. The next day, she tells me how excited her dad is about finally making a friend and that meeting me is keeping her from killing herself. And all kinds of wackadoo to shit like that. At that point, I just blocked her. No idea where she is now, but as long as she's not in my life, that's fine. 
That's not fine because she knows where you live. Bola, where you currently lived. And this shit is so persistent and clingy. That's scary. You know what? These people are fine to be the scariest because they're so unpredictable. It's like you never know what's going to happen. Good thing though is that she never bothered him again because I thought she was going to turn up at his place. I had a customer who knew that her entire family had been replaced by actors. Those had gone through extensive surgery and training to mimic their body language. Way of speaking and such while all memories of the relative they replaced had been transferred to them with a chip in the arm. She told me she was a nurse and had witnessed this in other cases. It's really crazy. This actor lives in the house of your relative. Looks like him, speaks like him, knows everything that happened 20 years ago. But this isn't your relative. She's watched too many movies. Yeah, I watched a movie like this before too. That was a damn good movie. But that doesn't mean after I watch the movie, I'm gonna come home and be like, you're not my mom. You're not my dad. <laughs> Jeez. Honestly, I do feel a bit bad though, because if she's really thinking that's real, then it must be pretty stressful for her brain. Like, yeah, she definitely needs some help. She had been dressing like me and styling and coloring her hair to be like mine for months. The final straw, the moment I realized she wasn't okay, was when she pulled me aside to tell me that she doesn't like my other friends calling me their friend. And I quote, because you're mine. Nope. After the friendship ended, she took to cyberbullying me and started dressing like her new friend. <laughs> wow. Dude, you know what? I watched a drama like this too. But it wasn't because they were their friend. It was because the girl was getting so much attention that she wanted to dress like her and be like her and get the attention that the other girl got. Crazy. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.